Well, hello to my favorite panelists and to our listening audience. It's a wonderful new year. It's so wonderful to begin this new year and knowing that so many wonderful blessings will come our way. And I'd like to just to start uh, off this session with a little prayer. So if you'd bow your heads and be comfortable, we say thank you, thank you, Father, for bringing us ladies together that we can share some, some things, some thoughts, perhaps some stories that have meaning to us. And when we share, it brings more meaning. If something I love, I can share with somebody else, then I love it twice as much. And I feel that way about our sharing with our listening audience. So we say thank you, Father, for allowing us to be together, to take joy in this new year ahead of us, and blessings to all. Amen. So I happen to have the topic today, and I have to give you <clears throat> a little bit of a background as to why I selected this topic. And some of you through the church know that um, my husband came down with a very, very serious infection and it left him in the hospital in critical condition for a month. And going up to the hospital and seeing him in ICU with tubes and ventilators and trachs coming out of him was really hard. And it began to like wonder, is it gonna get better? Wonder. And one of the doctors, he was his surgeon, he sat me down and he explained to me, he said, you know, this has been a very complicated case. He goes, but I'm not gonna let him die. He said, I got to ask you for patience. He says, that's all we can ask for right now is patience. So my dear friend, Linda Baker, I told her, I want to talk about patience because I need patience. And she was able to send me some beautiful quotes. And I'd like to share those quotes because they certainly have helped me. And I believe that as we all struggle with things in our life that require patience, these will help. The first one I liked is from Gail. I can't pronounce her last name. Even a snail will eventually reach its destination. <laughs> this one's from Mary Pierce. Sometimes things aren't clear right away. That's where you need to be patient and persevere and see where things lead. And I have to say that after a month in the hospital, my husband is home now doing better and better and Patience was seeing where things lead. And then Francis Bacon said, whoever is out of patience is out of possession of their soul. Leo Tolstoy, the two most powerful war warriors are patience and time. Wow. Yes, that's true. Joyce Meyer, patience is not simply the ability to wait. It's how we behave while we're waiting. Oh boy, that's a, that was when I really had to hear because there were times when I was just getting really angry at, at the world and how was I handling that? Ter, Tertullian says, hope is patience with a lamp lit. Billy Graham, each life is made up of mistakes and learning, waiting and growing, practicing patience and being persistent. Butch Hartman, Life is full of challenges, but I always have the three P's, passion, patience, and perseverance. And the fourth one is pizza. <laughs> Let's see, I've got a couple more. Um, Lao, Lao Su says, I have just three things to teach, simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. And patience is not waiting, not passively waiting, that is laziness, but to keep going when the going is hard and slow, 
that is patience. And the last one is from Joseph Addison. Our real blessings often appear to us in the shape of pains, losses, and disappointments. But let us have patience, and we soon shall see them in their proper figures. So I hope that some of these resonated with you. I know they did with me. It's I've been re reading all of these because it's it's when you're going through trying times like that, even since my husband's in home, he's a uh, can't swallow or eat. So I feed him with it through a tube in his stomach and the having patience with the next procedure that can have that they can do so that he can swallow again. But getting on a doctor's schedule and all of that, it's it's it it does require patience. So I was happy that I have a personal story I could share where I could incorporate uh, the number one ingredient I need is patience. So thank you, ladies. Anybody want to comment on that? Yeah, sure, Kathy. I'd be glad to. I'm sorry that you and Larry had to go through that. You know, but I'll tell you, uh, seeing Larry, seeing that he's improving, uh, it 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 was good that everybody was patient. You were patient, and he was patient, and his healing it's happening. And I'm I'm really really grateful for that. And I remember when I was uh, putting together that list of quotes, uh, the the one that uh, stuck in my mind, and I felt. Uh, that was so important in my life. I can't remember who said it, but it, it had to do uh, with uh, <clears throat> uh, before you talk, uh, before you say anything, uh, uh, let, let the patience flow through you. And then when you speak, uh, speak your truth, because if, if you say it, if you don't, if you don't say it right, uh, then um, you lose. Mm -hmm. I wish I could remember it. <laughs> it was beautiful too. Uh, you don't. Uh, <clears throat> oh well. Sorry. I'll see, I, I'll see if I can find it here, but um, I'm not sure. It 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 was a it was a great thought, but. It like a little butterfly flew away. So somebody else have, have something to, to add to help Kathy out there. I liked the quote about the relationship between patience and hope. For me, that was a really good link. I had never put those two concepts in mind before. And uh, there are times when I think of the state of the world and I feel no hope. And now I can remember, be patient. God has it all under control. So thank you. Uh, you you've helped me. <laughs> oh, I'd like to uh, add on to this. Kathy, thank you for sharing the story. I know this was a long, hard um, thought battle and and the outcome was there but to be in the middle of it and have the patience is so trying and how often in my life that I became impatient when I, if I just let things unfold they would happen for the highest good and I I appreciate you know that the doctor said to you just give me patience you know just be patient with me and um and it's interesting that they refer to um, the people they're treating as their patients. And maybe that's a, a message to the doctors is that you have to be patient, that it's in you know a, a higher power than what they are. But I'm um, so glad to hear that Larry is recovering and that you two are there still walking this path together with that love and acceptance and patience. And, and I one of the things that for me is, you know, how often I praise, oh, God, give me patience. And boy, it's so often that's when I'm really try um, 
the trials and tribulations come up because he's really testing me and going, you want to learn patience? I'll give you the challenges to learn it. So um, I sometimes don't want to ask God for patience because he will give me the trials. But one of the quotes that Mahapta Gandhi said, and I, I think this is so true, is to lose patience is to lose the battle. And when you're trying to force something to happen, um, it ends up not coming out the way you want it to be. So just being that patient. And thank you for sharing this. That was so heartfelt and I appreciate you and send my love to you and Larry. Okay, um, patience. You know, I, I joke that I don't believe in patience, that I don't think it really exists. And the way that I tend to deal with it is faith. I do what I can and then give it to God. And I find more than patience, I need to watch my temper. I tend to become judgy, become filled with fear, to run worst case scenarios, and, and to do a lot of things that really take me out of my highest and best self. So oftentimes when I'm dealing with something that's particularly difficult for me, the best thing I can do is be the best me I can be. And, and boy, sometimes that means digging deep. Sometimes it means walking away. Sometimes it means uh, time in the chapel, um, in, in prayer. Oftentimes it means reaching out for support to the people who love me and support me and understand me and talk me through things and, and walk me down. But one of the most important things I do is not judge myself for having done something wrong or particularly right. You know, it's so easy when you come to the end of a of a trial to say, well, I could have done that better and I shouldn't have said this and I owe an amends there. And for me, it's stopping and remembering, hey, I just was terrified I was scared all these things happened and and I got through it so that was awesome you know yeah I could have done things differently but I didn't I did it I got through it and I walked through it and Kathy I see that in you I respect you so much I admire you so much I know it felt different for you on the inside going through this but watching you from the outside, you were amazing. You walked through with ease and grace and love. You you called for people. You asked for help. You got into your children and and told them, I just need you to be here. And and they were. And and you were really an example to me of strength and grace. And it may not have felt that way to you, but it very much looked that way. So thank you for sharing something so personal and inspiring so many of us. Any other comments before I take us out? Linda? That quote had something to do with what you say can change your total relationship with somebody. That's why they say, be patient before you speak. Put your words together because it can change your life. It can change your life with someone. It, it, it can be either for the good or for the bad. And for it to be something bad is really important that you do give it patience so that it doesn't happen. Sorry it took so long to get that out. And I wish I could remember who said it, but I don't. Thank you. That was worth waiting for. Good wisdom, Linda. Thank you. Any other comments? <clears throat> okay. So I invite you to just take a breath with me. Close your eyes if that's comfortable and turn within. God, 
we are so grateful that we are able to ask for help, to call forth your presence at a deeper level, to know that you are in every situation, to be able to celebrate your love, your healing, your strength with those around us. God, we know that you would never test us, but when we find ourselves tested, we know we can draw from you and through you all that we need in every situation. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Amen. Well, thank you. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. We hope you'll leave us a comment that if you haven't already subscribed, you might think about doing that right now. And if you hit that little bell next to where it says subscribe, you'll get notified every time we bring you a new video. We would love to have you on our panel. And if there's someone you know that might benefit from any of our videos, please feel free to share. It helps us and it might help them too. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.